Good day everyone! I am Erya Envelagogo and I am Laura May S. Alimaida and today we will be discussing our chosen topic which is the Critical Regionalism. So, in today's architectural landscape, Critical Regionalism holds a significant relevance and offers a refreshing approach to design. So, Critical Regionalism is a modern architectural approach that celebrates cultural identity promote sustainability and encourage contextual, contextual design. It integrates local traditions, materials, and principles into designs, fostering pride and continuity within communities. It also promotes sustainability by utilizing regional materials and passive design strategies. Um, moreover, critical regionalism also values um, architectural heritage, bridging the gap between the, the past and present. It also promotes social integration by involving local communities in the design process. It resists um, homogenization, um, meaning it refers to a process of making things uniform or more similar in terms of characteristics, qualities, and appearance. Overall, critical regionalism is a holistic and mindful approach to design that um, addresses contemporary challenges. Before we continue our discussion, I want you all to remember that the central principle of critical regionalism is the commitment to the place rather than the space. Later on, you will understand what it means by this. For further explanation about this topic, Area will um, elaborate more about critical regionalism and will also provide examples. Thank you, Ms. Alimaida. Now, let me introduce to you one of the examples that's considered as a critical regionalism is the cultural center of the Philippines. Yes. The Cultural Center of the Philippines. It was created in 1966, designed by Leandro Loxin, located in Metro Manila, Papua New Guinea. Pictures that I'm going to show you. This is a sketch and the actual design of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. See, as you can see, in the Cultural Center of the Philippines, the, of the picture, it harmonizes with its surroundings, or let's just say, it blends simply in the environment. As a matter of fact, a critical journalism is it doesn't matter the surface, rather it matters to the physical environment, such as the climate, public attractiveness, and the culture, which promote the local traditions. The design structure was inspired by the Bahay Kubu and other traditional Filipino architect styles. Therefore, it perceives our cultural diversity and local identity. And by the way, Leandro Loctin is a Filipino architect. So, to sum it up, critical regionalism focuses more on the relationship between architecture and its specific regional context. It emphasizes the importance of local culture, environment, and traditions in the design and construction of the building. So this approach seeks to create architecture that is rooted in its place and time, while also responding to the universal principles of architecture. Again, before constructing a building or structure, there are several key features that we must consider as what Area had explained a while ago. So by considering those features, architects and designers can create buildings that are rooted in the in their regional context while also meeting the functional, aesthetic, and sustainable needs of the community.